Has Season 4's content been leaked to the public? Well, in this video we're going to look right into it, so stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video so more people get a chance to see it as it hits the algorithm much better. So as we eagerly await the release of Halo 4 on PC, which brings Season 4 content for us guys to grind through and get through a new season as well, because I think most of us, if not a lot of us, uh, got through Season 3 pretty quick as there were only 50 tiers and many of us saved up uh, lots of these seasonal points to so you can just unlock everything right away so i would just kind of assume we're probably going to have about the same amount of content or these tiers for season four probably around 50 though it does seem like they're going to up the point value on certain kinds of items which we saw in the previous season so probably the more valued content would probably be worth two points while something like a nameplate probably be be worth like one point if i remember correctly i think it took 61 seasonal points to unlock everything in season three so probably want to earn about 60 to 70 points as well obviously we don't know how many tiers are going to be in it and uh, how much content is going to be within season four as well so but yeah you know, just for a safe safe guess probably around 50 to 75 points you should have saved up for the upcoming season guys and there is no official release date right now when it comes to season four and halo 4 coming to pc my speculation is november 17th because that's when the mcc is going to be receiving a big update for the xbox series x optimization bringing it to 4k 120 fps on the series x and 1080p 120 fps for the xbox series s and generally with these kind of big patches that they generally have to do some kind of certification process which goes through Microsoft, which is a very arduous uh, testing system that Microsoft's platform has to do separately from 343 as well, just to make sure that what's going on the Xbox is gonna work properly. So a lot of times they try to pile on a lot of extra things within these uh, certification processes because it takes a while for these processes to go and they hold up a lot of content and updates. That's why I suspect to have a November 17th release because the flight itself was pretty smooth going. And so it was pretty easy to play. The, there were some bugs, the yeah, but for the most part, it played rather well. And I believe the known issues is a grand total of like 15 bugs, and most of them are not really game breaking or game affecting kind of experiences with the UI or the gameplay. So uh, I would expect to see a November release coming for Halo 4. So it's gonna be coming around really rather soon. Now the juicy part, the leaked content for season four actually just was posted up on YouTube recently and it hasn't been taken down yet. So I would suspect that probably okay to show some of this right now. Now, if you guys want to go into season four completely blind, check out the links in the description for timestamps or check out the timestamps in the, the timeline of this video as well. So you can kind of skip ahead if you don't want to get any kind of spoilers along with this. Again, this is final warning. Right after I'm done talking about this section, we're gonna go right into the content. So the YouTube user that goes by the name Genetic Gold, I'll link their channel in the description of this video, guys. Just posted up a scroll through of various content that's gonna be coming probably with the next season. A lot of different customization options for Halo Reach and Halo 3, which is expected to come with season four. Uh, I do want to sp specify that probably not everything is gonna be able to make it into season four that's gonna be shown in this video. Due to, we do know for a fact that 343 did say that the Reach armor sets will not be coming in with Season 4. And the reasoning behind this is that they said stated here on the previous dev update saying the reasoning behind this is that we hit difficulties standing up the content pipeline needed to fully ingest these pieces into Halo Reach and it needs more dev time. We had to make a tough call here, but to mitigate risks for this upcoming launch, it was the right call to make. But even though they do show the Atkus and the GRD armor sets coming in Halo Reach, probably most likely in season five, it's not gonna be in season four unless something just drastically changed all of a sudden. So in this section of the videos, kinda wanna go through some of the interesting things that they showed, like this brand new helmet in Halo Reach, which, which looks awesome with some variations of like a cracked visor look, which was kinda like a cool looking EVA kinda thing, but it had like really cool variation. It's like a Mr. Chief sprayed on kind of face. 
looking pretty awesome right there with like a crazy like you know grd like goggle system kind of added on top of it which looks pretty awesome as well but then you actually see what grd looks like right here in game that's pretty freaking awesome and there's like two variations of it, like the covered version with like the monocle kind of look and then like a regular visor kind of look which looks pretty awesome i'm really looking forward to seeing more uh halo reach or content coming in because i think they do mention of that uh just not just grd but also akis is gonna be coming in which we'll show later here they're showing off the various different types of chess pieces as well. Um, I can't, you know, obviously these are all just kind of test names right now, so nothing's really kind of given an official name for all this kind of stuff, but definitely some new chess pieces you can check out in Halo Reach. Now, again, like I said, that the uh, armor sets are not going to be coming in with Season 4, but this is cool to see kind of go preview of what's probably coming in season five as well they might be able to fit some of these uh in here but it seems like with season four but unless something drastically changes which i don't really expect to see that happen between now and the release of of uh, season four that uh, is probably going to be put into season five here's the akis armor that was shown previously as well looking pretty dang awesome if i can do so say myself right there here we're gonna look at some of the new armor effects coming with the elites in halo reach and like they've mentioned previously that there's still gonna be sets of armor like we've had previously but now you have armor effects coming in for the elites as well which i think they kind of just copy and paste it over they might have to do some kind of scaling adjustments since the elites are so much bigger than spartans that they don't really seem as noticeable as they could be on spartan but again additional customization that's pretty dang awesome in my opinion. Now moving over, you can check out some Halo 3 customization guys. And this is probably what I'm sure a lot of you guys are really looking forward to. Now, no new armor sets or anything, but a lot of new skins to choose when we have vehicles and we also have weapon skins. We have some vehicle skins for the Warhog right here. Some unique ones we have not seen before, like this one right here. And then we also have the return of the Jurassic Park themed one, which I lo absolutely love the Jurassic Park themed one. It's so cool. I'm definitely going to be rocking that one, I think, for my Warhawks, just because, you know, obviously Jurassic Park, a bit of a fan back in the day when I was a kid. I mean, the movie came out back in the 90s and it still looks good to the day, which is pretty awesome. Some more different uh, Warhawks you can check out right here. Another Jurassic Park themed one. Again, just, just, just awesome. And they also have very similar to what we've seen with uh, Combat Evolved as well. And there's a lot of repeats, I would say, of different skins from combat evolved being brought into uh halo 3 as you can see right here with all the covenant vehicles especially uh we do have one very big surprise for vehicles and also for weapons as well guys definitely want to stick around and check it out but uh, you can see for the ban for the banshee as well similar kind of customization we have in combat evolved being brought over to halo 3 now the scorpion tanks we do have some unique customization as well i mean we've seen the tiger one before we've seen this uh grim reaper one i think the arctic is also in there but this is a brand new one too it's called hazard pay and again just looks pretty awesome it stands out quite crazy but here's a new one the hornet is going to get some customization as well it looks like it's just one skin right now at the moment i mean this could be more being added into the next season but it'd be pretty awesome here's some of the battle rifle and i know a big request you guys have been asking where is the gold battle rifle give me the gold battle rifle well, there it is right there. Pretty freaking awesome to check it out, guys. So we will be getting the gold battle rifle. Again, I will say that these skins definitely do look a lot better in Unreal 4 Engine, which is rendering out these models, because in-game, they kind of look more yellow rather than anything else. And we still see some more customization for the sniper rifles. We have some more customization for the SMGs. So like this hazard pay one looks kind of, almost kind of like a Norn Fang, which looks pretty freaking awesome. We got the shotgun right here as well. It's kind of similar customization gold. We also have the camo and we also have the orange safety as well. Kind of same thing brought over from Combat Evolved as well. We also have the rocket launcher on top of this one. Similar kind of customization, but we have a new one as well, which is going to be the hazard pay one as well. I just love how vivid the colors stand out on this. It just like, for me, a rocket, it fits the rocket launcher well because it's like, warning, this thing's going to absolutely dominate the battlefield right now, which is pretty freaking awesome. Again, we have the assault rifle again. You can kind of see the similar kind of stuff as well previously. With some two new ones as well, the desert and the hazard pay as well. On top of that, you move over, you got also the uh, magnum skins. If you do that again, like it has the previous four from the last season, then you have some two new ones as well. Pretty freaking awesome right there as well. And I feel like I'm repeating myself, but hey, it's great to know that there's more customization options coming for you guys in Halo 3. Halo 3 is the most played game on the MCC, so it's great to see these additions coming in as well. These SMGs do look pretty freaking awesome. The Tiger Shrives one looks awesome. The Graffiti looks great as well. But they have a brand new one coming in as well. We've never seen for anything else. And that's the Green Stripes. 
I think that's pretty clean. I like that one a lot, actually. It looks pretty freaking awesome. Again, repeating myself a little bit here. But, uh, you know, it's really cool to see that, that 343 is putting in the time to add so much more customization into the MCC here. Uh, similar kind of custom colorization that we've seen for CE being brought in for Halo 3 when it comes to the fuel rod. Again, looking pretty dang awesome. <laughs> uh, we got the, you also have the needler as well being brought in some similar stuff as well on top of that some cool stuff with the plasma rifle this is a brand new camo that we're gonna be seeing here guys it's a blue with yellow stripes i mean that, that's pretty clean it's pretty clean looking pretty good right there if you ask me but yeah guys a lot of interesting content coming in with season four guys uh, again we don't know the exact release date we don't know how many tiers are going to be uh, again like i said you want to have at least 50 probably up to 75 seasonal points saved up for when the season comes out. You want to unlock everything right away. But trust me, once we have a release date, once we know how many points you need, season more four content confirmed by 343, I guarantee I'll let you know on this channel, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you missed any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos. If you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so, thank you so much for watching. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.